Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. So today is Monday morning. It is like a windstorm here in Pennsylvania, but we never let that stop us. We're gonna get on the road. I'm gonna go over to Goodwill Route 30. This is probably my favorite place to shop. I am compiling the list of my 10 favorite places. I think I have about six on the list right now. And the other day, Roger and I went out to Montgomeryville Goodwill, and that is one of my favorite places too, my new favorite places. I have been there before. All right, all the chit chat, all the time, grab yourself something to drink, we're going thrifting. I just spotted these candlesticks. These are so unique. I have never seen anything like this. They are glass formed into like very organic shapes. That is very cool. $3.99. Now they are from Home Goods, originally $10. I would pick these up if they didn't have rusting. I guess the center rod, the central rod, uh, it must be some sort of metal and it looks like moisture has gotten in there. That is very unfortunate because I really like those. Goodwill wants $2.99 each. Up oh, this one, <laughs> this one's $4. Okay, the bigger one's cheaper. And what's this last one? $2.99, this one's $3.99. Still very cool. I really like those, but not with the rust showing. Sometimes I think I should create a video of the oddest things in Goodwill. How hysterical is this? You know what I love? That somebody took the time to do this. How great is this? Googly-eyed corn cob pilgrim people. <laughs> I wonder if this would attract mice in your house. They put a lot of work into this. Look at the nose, a sunflower seed. Oh, this is everything. $3.99. Honorable mention for one of the funniest things found in Goodwill. Oh, we have a little scarecrow sitting here. Okay, my last video I showed little dangly leg creatures. Um, I think there were rabbits, if I remember correctly. They were something, mice, and I said they were Roger and me. I am sorry I didn't pick those up. I would have liked to have bought those. I, I Sometimes I'm so busy videoing that you know decisions get made after the fact like oh i should have got those all right we are on the tchotchka aisle candles all the things oh this is sweet is this a little trinket no and it says made in china but that's not badly painted kind of cute all right i can't start picking up everything willy-nilly I do have quite a bit of inventory in my office to list. I'm gonna guess about 75 to 100 things. All right, as you can tell, we are down the lamp aisle. I see a couple of interesting things. First, I grabbed this. Now it is a little missing some paint, a little bit of paint loss there. I really like this. It does seem like it might've been older and it's rewired or maybe that is the original wire. I kind of like this. No shade. You would really need a shade that has that ring, you know, to go over that. And am I looking right? $3.99. I think I might put this in my cart and think about it. All right, I picked up a few more things while you weren't looking. I'm not sure what I have here. It's a pomegranate, I think, because the seeds are open. Glass bottle. But it doesn't open, I don't think. $2.99. So green tag on Monday is half price. So that would be $1.50. I kind of like this. It does have a little imperfection, but I don't think that's a deal breaker. I'm not sure on this. I'm on the fence, you can tell. All right, we also grabbed a coffee cup, trick or treat, made by Spectrum. This one I'm gonna check, but Anything Halloween that's cool like this, I have a tendency to grab. This is the single mug for the day. So we took that, a wax molded heart, a heart wax mold. It's not the mold, it's the wax. 
$1.99. So this is going to be a dollar. So definitely yes to that. Wall hanging, I don't think it's meant to burn because there's no wick. And I also, let me push my cart over and come around. I also picked up two tile trivets, just lovely. So they are wood framed. Here is the back and a matching one there, $3.99 each. All right, let's keep going with lamps. There is the brass lamp. This is an interesting shape here. I do like the shape of this one, but without the shade, without the harp, I'm going to say no on that and wait on that one. Ooh, I think these are the type of shades that go in the crystal chandelier. That is just a guess. The only problem is I don't have the crystal chandelier with me, and I don't think that that circumference would fit in the part that receives it. So some of you have been talking about a cloth shade fitting on those lamps, but those lamps had like a crown. I'll try to insert um, a picture here with an arrow showing you. Okay, this has nothing to do with anything, but isn't that pretty? A hurricane shade with a beautiful transfer design. I think that's transfer. I don't think that's hand painted. All right, so that finishes, I think the lamps aisle. I didn't see anything other than our floral one, which I'm pretty sure I'm keeping. I, li I really like that. Um, do we see anything else? We have some leopard or cheetah trimmed lampshades up there. I don't think those go to that lamp. Do I want lampshades? I might get that down later or <laughs> better yet get an employee to get it down for me. We all know that story. All right, let's keep going. Okay, this is either a candle holder <laughs> or a ceiling light. You know, that's not a bad idea to take old ceiling light fixtures and upcycle them into candle holders. Now, this one might not be the prettiest, but if you spray painted it gold and put like faux evergreen, this would be nice for Christmas. I think that would work. All right, we have some laser cut wood Coasters. I'm not sure what the design is, but I do kind of like these. I'm going to have to untape them to make sure there aren't all the chipped ones in the middle. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these. $2.99. Those are going in the cart. Let's see what else. Oh, a little nook. <laughs> Look how cute that is. I wonder if it's an old one. You always have to be careful when picking up pacifiers that are older that the nipple part doesn't separate and become a choking hazard. So it's always wise to Google if there's been a recall on the pacifier you're picking up, or better yet, just not pick them up. Lately, I've been on a plant kick to add some color to my otherwise beige house. I think this is a fig leaf, I'm gonna say. It was originally $20.99. Okay, and Goodwill wants $3.99. I kinda like that. I think I'm gonna pick this up from my house and if I decide I don't want it, I'll put it in the booth. That's what's great about having the booth when I pick up stuff, you know, so I could try it out at home because there's no returns in Goodwill. I think this is the metal wire aisle. Lately, I've been really finding some good things on this aisle. I used to not skip it, but I used to not pick up as much. And I find that people that like um, a Brutalist, B-R-U-T-L, IST Brutal List um, decor have a tendency to like cast iron, wrought iron, $2.99. Oh, and today is green tag, I think. So I'm not quite sure what people would use this for. Oh, I'm a boob. <laughs> now I get it. I do like this. So the price is $2.99. This would be $1.50. Are there more? Oh, here's another one. I don't know where these are sold. Okay, so there's two of them. Okay, so $1.50 each for $3. I'm going to grab these. Okay, a little Believe coat hook key holder. You can believe you're going to find your keys. How much is this? If it's green tag, I might grab that too. Oh, blue tag. $4. Mm, I would have liked it better if it said something other than Believe. I don't know that Believe really goes with a coat, coat hook 
I do like this little pottery jar. Who is making this? Made in India, ceramic hand wash only. Huh. Let's open it up and see. Okay, it's got a little, a little seal on it. It's in good shape. Four dollars. I kind of like that. It almost reminds me of like Portugal pottery. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I really like the wood top. All right, so this happened when you weren't looking. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't able to show everything. Sometimes carts come out. Lots of people in the store. We are all trading our stuff back and forth. You know, we all take from the cart and then everybody says, do you want this? Do you? It's like a, like a trading market. It's great. Longer burger. I had three of them. I stuck with this one. I like this because I'm gonna put a potted plant um, displayed in, in the booth. Oh, $9.99. I will not be displaying any plant in the booth with this. I did not see that $10. It's a nice basket, but Goodwill, it's not that nice. All right, good thing I looked at that. I did take this wooden box. That'll teach me for not looking at prices. $4.99. This is a really pretty one. I like the way the top has like an open lattice design. That is really pretty. Looks to be vintage. So I'm going to take that. All right, so the cart over here has the items that I haven't shown you, but we're going to wind up switching all of that to the bigger cart. So that is what's going on. Okay, one of the other thrifters had taken this and um, I didn't even see this come out and she asked if I wanted it. So we've all been trading back and forth. There's like eight of us trading with each other. Very fun. And what is the price on this? $2.99. That is really cute. Very heavy. Looks to be all hand painted. So I'm going to gently put this right here in the cart. Try not to hurt my little wax mold heart. And that same thrifter also gave me the chicken. And the chicken is $3.99. I wound up giving some of my longer burger baskets to somebody else. They were more reasonably priced than the one I kept, which I now put back, but look how good this chicken is. Do we love a good chicken? Yes, we do. I guess he's all made of wood. You know, so many items nowadays are made out of resin and you think they're wood, but I think this guy is really a carved hand-painted wooden chicken. I really like him. Next up is a handmade owl dream catcher. I had to think of the word, 399 red tag. Let me see if I can get him to stop spinning with a feather trim. You know, I don't know if he is handmade per se, like somebody sitting at home making him like a craft. He could have come in a craft box. That could be in somebody put him together, but it could also be that one of the home stores was selling him but really sweet. I love him. They have a whole vibe going on, like a boho vibe. Um, speaking of boho vibe, I like this picture. So it's not really boho, it's more vintage, I guess. This is DM Welty Mills, it looks like, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania, and it is signed. So this is an original. I think this is pastels, just a guess. I think it's a drawing. $4.99 red tag. Love the color. It's like a celery green of this frame. That is beautiful. That's going to go gorgeous next to the fig plant if I sell the fig plant. Let's take a look at the back. Okay, so, oh, it's a watercolor. I stand corrected. Certificate of limited edition. But I won't even look this up. This is April 30th, 1977, so definitely vintage. That is really sweet. A few other things I'm contemplating, big contemplation, big decision here, Dashing Diva nail stickers or nail strips. I do like to use these. They last a lot longer than polish. You could see I did my nails yesterday or the day before. They're chipping already, and I do top coat them. So when I find nail stickers or strips in the thrift store, I go ahead and get them if they're colors that I already wear. I like Color Streets better. I found Dashing Diva, which is sold in Ulta, I think. Um, not as good quality, but for $3, I'll go ahead and grab these. Here is a teapot that I love the aesthetic of. Very Japanese-looking. And I have to look up Studio Nova, Portugal. That is a lovely pot. So, but I will only buy it for $4.99 if it uh, has good comps because this will be resale. All right.
right, what else do we have? We have a little grinder, a little hand grinder. I'm not sure what we're grinding. I don't think that little hand crank would be good enough for coffee beans. I guess it could. Might be herbs, like dried herbs or Parmesan cheese. But I thought this was really sweet. And what does that say? And rock. Made in USA, number 49. Even if this doesn't bring much, I'm only paying $3 for it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Um, another thrifter who was shopping the new carts with all of us um, said, do I want this? Does anybody want this? And I took this. So this is a bedside little um, pitcher and glass. And I love the cobalt blue. So for $4, I was glad to say, yeah, I'll have that. All right, what else? Some makeup pencils, $1.99. Not especially a great name, but I love these. Really nice green. I might take one out for myself because I have green eyes and see how that works and then sell the rest. They're all individually packaged. Okay, Harry Potter. His Hermione, Hermione? I'm Hermione Granger. Her... Obviously, I don't watch Harry Potter or read it. Granger's wand with illuminating tip. Again, I'm going to have to comp this. So, so far we have to comp the teapot and the wand. A little matchstick cubby, $2.99. Doesn't get much cuter than that. Look how cute that is. To light the gas oven. <laughs> to light the pilot light. Something like that. All right, and a few other pieces. I believe this is Venus... Gorgeous, not sure what this is made out of. I'm gonna look up this name. V-E-R-O-N-E-S-E, -E -E, Veronese, Veronese, $2.99. Whether she's high-end or not, even if she's a resin, she'd be lovely sitting on a stack of books on a bookshelf. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her. Last few pieces before we switch carts and continue on with regular thrifting, the regularly scheduled channel. Look at this little bird, $3.99. Again, beautiful in a vintage vignette. I like these little birds, just made in Japan, so it's nothing super high end, $3.99. I do well with stuff like this. I think people really like them when you have like a painting and a wicker basket. Look how pretty that looks together, all in the same colorway. I've seen that a lot on Pinterest. All right. The bud vases are probably going to get put back. I haven't checked them yet, but that's my guess. So little cloisonne bear trinket dish. I would have liked this much better without the bear sitting on top. I'm not saying it won't sell, and maybe it's a mistake to put it back, but I think I'm going to leave this for somebody else. I don't care for the way his eyes are painted. There's a bold statement. I don't like the way this bear's eyes are painted on top of this cloisonne trinket dish. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one back. Okay, so I'm just running comps on the Studio Nova white teapot. The one that I said is more like a rounded Japanese design. I love this design. I think this is so pretty. This would be gorgeous on a black background hutch. How striking would that be? All right, so I did pull it up on my phone. Let's grab my phone and take a look at this. So the first two comps, they come with cups, so we can't count those. Here is one kind of similar, $36.99 plus shipping. This one, $28 plus shipping. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take that. I really like that design. Harry Potter's Granger's Wand. I looked that up, and the comps are not great for that. Here's one pre-owned, $10, $12.99. Yeah, a few of them are higher, but... A lot of them are brand new to get that kind of money. The first one sold by bid on auction, $12.24. So I think I'm leaving the Harry Potter Granger's wand for somebody else. In one of my recent videos, I was talking about picking up wallpaper. And here we have a roll of genuine, I'm going to say 1960s, maybe 1970s floral wallpaper. Look at this stuff. Gold, metallic, orange, beige, and brown. When you flip it over, I did open the tape. This was already opened. I won't unseal a new roll. It's almost like a grass cloth. Very strong. What was this called? Sanitas back in the day? I think this would do well. No, I'm not saying it's a full roll, but there is a good amount of it on there. People could use it as a drawliner. 
So that would be very cool. Let's roll it back up and see if I can find the tag for it. And just, oh, there it is there. $3.99, I think this is a keeper. Okay, here's a true moment at Goodwill. So I'm riding around with my cart, very happy with my purchases. And I keep saying, what is smelling not good? And it turns out after sniffing almost everything in my cart, it's this plant. I think a kitty cat loved this plant a little too much. So this is going back. That's a shame because I really wanted a fig plant of that size, but I don't want to have to try to wash kitty cat smell out, if you know what I mean. I'd rather just buy a new one. But um, if anybody knows how to get kitty cat smell off of plants, this one is here in Goodwill Route 30. But goodbye, pretty plant. I loved you, but not that much. All right, we are on the wood framed aisle. Lots of little frames and signs. Now you know me, I don't pick up a lot of wool words. I look for items that are either handmade in wood, love wood boxes. Um, I do like racks with hooks, but the hooks have to be really good. All right, let's scoot back this way. There is some artwork, but the majority of the artwork um, is still on the shelf down there where we normally see it, but I guess they're spreading it out so that it is not too crowded, which is a good thing. Okay, kind of early American, colonial candle holders. Let's take a look at what is further down. Here's a little wooden shelf I think somebody made, yes. And what would you hang on that? These little eye hooks are so close together, I don't think a belt would even fit on there. Keys, maybe keys, one key at a time. <laughs> All right, we have a couple of wooden boxes. I see the Lane Hope Just box. There's a lot of these around here. Made out of cedar, $2.99. They don't bring much, They're presented by, I think every girl in the area was given one of these back in the 60s or 70s uh, when they graduated high school. It was a gift. I don't know what the boys got, but I see a lot of these in the store. All right, nothing of note on the wood aisle. For a quick second, I got excited. From one aisle over, I saw the roses pattern, and I thought these might be Royal Albert Old Country Roses, but they are not. They are Farberware Sydney Roses. I don't imagine Farberware would bring the kind of money that Old Country Roses would. Now, I know Old Country Roses put out by Royal Albert is now sold in the home stores. They have been for a while but very proud of Goodwill for not pricing individually. They give you four plates for $4.99. I think that's great. And you can still buy what you need, you know, set wise. Pretty pattern, but I would have been more excited if they were the Royal Albert. All right, we are doing dishes, I know. Not sure what I'm looking for. There's a cake plate down here, contemporary. Oh, maybe it's not a cake plate. Maybe it's just a big plate. I thought it had a pedestal stand. I do like this stripe. It's very like Italian and Tuscany. I just am not crazy about these colors. I think it would be pretty all in one color, like shades of blue would have been beautiful. What else do we have down here? It's a little trivet, Siesta Key, Florida. Oh, that's very fun. It was sold in Beach Bazaar <laughs> for $7. Somebody brought that home from vacation, probably. We have a glass pitcher up here. Oh, it's plastic. Tricked me. The plastic is getting better and better nowadays. It's so clear. It's like a lime green. Very pretty. All right, hopefully they will lower the music again. They had it low for a while. It was so nice. Now we're back to blasting music. Here are some plates that look vintage-y. $1.99, and today is half off, so this would be a dollar. Oh, this is Titan Wear, hand-painted. There's two of them. What else do we see? What else do we see? All right, another Florida souvenir little plate. All right, I'm going to have to switch aisles. Oh, they turned the music off which is just lovely. I think they're having problems with their sound system, so hopefully we'll just leave it off. That would be good. Okay, we are all trading inventory at this point. 
So somebody put this back. I saw this in her cart. Very big. Now I could put it in the booth. $9.99 is a great price for this. And I don't know whether to get it or not. I told myself no more big things because I have so many big things right now. I think it would sell, but do I want this? Hmm. I think I'm going to give myself a treat and leave it for somebody else. All right. And the plant I put back, somebody else took. I did let them know it needs a good cleaning and they said that they would be willing to clean it. So I'm going to have to look for one that doesn't need to be washed because I don't have time to be washing plants. All right, so that is the name of the game today. Everybody's sharing and we're all hanging out, having a good time. It's a party in Goodwill. All right, guys, I think I'm going to head out. I am buying all of this. And if you saw something you want, just know it's going to take me a while to get into my eBay store, but everything will make it there. All right, love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe. And as always, go out and get what's yours.